Okay, so welcome back to another big week uh, tutorial. And in this one, we need to talk about the note counter. Pretty simple modulator. So uh, this is the initial sound I get. Just a pulse synth and a little bit of delay and reverb. Right, it's a pretty simple settings. I'm gonna go right here and bring the note counter. And notice immediately what it's doing. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it starts over, okay? And this is gonna be important. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and uh, just bring the note counter and just going to bring it right here. So notice it's green and this is because it's doing a per voice. So I'm going to go and disable this. We're going to talk about this in a minute. So this one, what it will do, it will count notes. It's a note counter. So if you have six notes, it's going to count them. Now, of course, you need to indicate how many notes you have or how many you want to count because the whole purpose of this thing is to do a modulation and go on a loop. So right now we have six notes. So I'm going to go and say that, that we have six steps. Now, of course, you can put whatever you want right here. But in this case, I just want to keep it, you know, kind of consistent. We have six notes and then six notes again. So it's going to it's going to repeat. So, of course, you need to decide how much you want to increment every time you count. And you can do it by, you know, whatever you want. So in this case, if you do by one, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, and then restart. So let me show you. I'm going to go and do play. Pretty simple. Now notice, and it, this is important, if the, whenever this is disabled, it starts on nothing. And when it starts, it starts on zero. That's why we, if we have six MIDI notes, we say that we have six steps. And notice it says five. And it's because it starts counting on zero. This is a very programming uh, uh, thing to do. But, you know, maybe they, they didn't give it thought. Uh, because people, normal people, um, start counting on one, not on zero. And, and developers and programmers, uh, I'm saying programmers because maybe you don't know what a developer is. Um, they Sometimes when we use um, arrays or functions or yeah, mostly arrays, uh, we count in zeros. Uh, we start counting on zero and then go to one. But regular people count from one, start counting one, two, three, four, five, and not zero, one, two, three, four, five. So, you know, it's just how it works. So, uh, and I'm telling you this because I'm an engineer. So. Uh, a software engineer as well. So I'm gonna go and gonna do again some playing and notice it starts zero, one, two, three, four, five. So it's six steps, not five. Cool. So the trick is that with this one, what we can do, we can go right here and I'm gonna reset the count for now. Uh, we can go right here and say, okay, so I wanna go this much up on each step. So now if we play, it's gonna be from zero to five which is zero to 100%, okay? Now notice the first one, the zero one, gets no modulation. Gets zero, one, two, three, four, five, and starts over. So we're all, you know, this is just a tiny thing that you need to bear in mind that the first MIDI will not go up. So, okay. So as soon as you reset the count, it's gonna go back to nothing. Now what you can do, if you wish, you can uh, start backwards. So I'm gonna go and do minus one in this case. So it's going to be zero or and it's going to be right here, zero. And then it's going to start on minus five or actually five and then go five, four, three, two, one. So we start at zero and then go back and go full 100 percent and then go back to zero. Very different behavior, of course. So another thing you can do, you can increment the steps if you wish. And again, you can count by twos or threes or whatever. This is going to change how the loop works. But in this case, I would like to do just, uh, you know, six, and then uh, I'm going to do one in this case. Okay, so we have the, let me just reset, the same thing we had before. So, okay, so then we have the zero to one, which is the output scaling. And this is how much you want to do right here in terms of, uh, you know, modulation. We're going from zero to 100%. This is what this means. It's going to go from zero to one, pretty much. So then it's going to be minus one to one and this is a little bit different i'm gonna go right here uh, i'm gonna change a little bit of this modulation i'm gonna do it like this because it's gonna be a little bit bright so this one what it will do uh, since we are going from zero to 100 percent in this case is gonna start and do the opposite it's gonna, it's gonna start by uh, starting on minus 100 percent then it's gonna go to zero and then it's gonna go to 100 percent again minus one two plus one it's gonna be a little bit bright so maybe i'm gonna lower the volume just a tiny bit Okay, notice it starts on minus one, 
and then goes up. So again, it's if we are talking that we uh, we are saying that we are going by one hundreds, uh, is starting on minus one hundred pretty much, and then goes to one hundred. That's that's what it means. Which is you know a little bit different. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna go go and reset the count, and then we have the value. So this one again, it's just a little bit weird, and I'm gonna go. And I'm going to go and pretty much reset this. So if I change it to value, I'm going to go and do the modulation. I'm going to kind of a, go and do a little bit, but notice that it's going really crazy. This is the modulation I'm actually doing, but it says that it's going to go, uh, you know, a lot more. And this is what it means. So value, it means that each step is going to be pretty much 100. Zero, zero, of course. Then on the first step, it's going to be 100, then 200, 300, 400, and then 500. So it's like uh, doing it, you know, uh, doing it by a lot. If we do a tiny bit and you have five steps, it's going to go all the way, uh, you know, to, uh, to the step you have right here. And we can actually, you know, hear how this works. It's going to be a little bit too bright. I'm going to go and do play. And again, notice that I'm doing a tiny bit of modulation. It's going, it's going zero. 0, 100, 200, 3, or 500, and 500. And if I change it to the normal one, which is, uh, you know, 0 to 100, it's just doing a tiny bit. This is the, what we are actually doing. Right? That is the difference. All right, so that's, uh, this is what the note counter does. Okay, so I'm going to go back to 0 to 1 because it's, uh, you know, <laughs> a bit more kind of a normal one. Uh, the other ones are just a little bit weird. This is just a normal one. Here we go from 0 to 100. Right? Pretty simple. So this is going to be uh, the uh, not per voice. So every time we get a key, it's going to go and do one, or, you know, it's going to go one up, two up, three up, as much as steps you have right here. Now, if you're holding keys and you're using the other method, the uh, right here, the per voice, each voice, if you're holding a key, let me just show you what's the MIDI. So this is going to be one voice, and since I'm holding, that's going to be one voice. And then it's going to be another one, and another one, and another one. So these are four different voices, because we are holding keys. So it means that each voice is going to pretty much have a different kind of a behavior right here. And we can actually hear this and see how this works. I'm going to do the per voice, and now, and now I'm going to go and play this. Notice that this one is just moving a little bit different. And the name, the number of the of the notes we are doing really counts. So again, works a little bit different. If I go and do not the per voice, each key is going to be, you know, pretty much uh, one up. So I'm going to go and reset the count. So it's a bit more obvious. It's going to go from zero to 100. Because all the notes, all the keys are just following the same from 0 to 5, right? So again, it's just how it works, you know, with the per voice and the not per voice uh, on any, actually any any device uh, within with Bitwig. So, okay, so that's it. This is this is what it does. It's going to count your notes and then it's going to run a modulation. And you, can, you have three ways of doing this. Now, of course, this is a pretty dumb example. You know, the MIDI is just not doing anything. But if I go right here... Uh, I'm going to go and just show you something a little bit more musical. And for now, I'm just going to reset the modulator. So we can count as many, you can move the steps, how, you know, as many as we wish. And right here, we can start, you know, doing modulation. And again, you can go, you're really crazy. I'm gonna go and do a little bit of unison. And I'm gonna go with a little bit of that. And there we go. You have a great sound. Now, the difference between this and, a, and an LFO, pretty much, is that the transition or the movement that you get right here is a step. It's just a step transition. It's going in steps, so you get a different sound. It's not that, you know, as a smooth, which is cool. And of course, you can decide how many steps. If you want to go shorter, it's going to get a little bit more aggressive and faster. Or, you know, you can make, make, it, make it more steps. It's going to go. It's going to take more time to get there, of course. 
And that's it, you know, that's that's what it does. Just a nice, a nice modulator. Okay, so hopefully you learned something on this one. And uh, remember to like and subscribe. And remember to check Patreon, of course. And see you on the next one.